Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Nomadic Manisha. So friends, today we are making Mumbai's most favorite street food called Pav Bhaji. Pav Bhaji is a flavored and healthy meal that has a delicious blend of spicy mixed vegetables served alongside soft butter toasted bread, crunchy onions and lemon. In Hindi and Marathi, the word Pav means bread and Bhaji means vegetable dish. Let's make the best Pav Bhaji at home with my simple recipe. For bhaji, we need 3 medium size of potatoes, 3 medium size of tomatoes, half cup of cauliflower, half cup of beans, 1 carrot, 1 cup of peas, half cup of capsicum. Now take a pressure cooker, add 1 tablespoon of olive oil and 1 tablespoon of butter. Now add all the veggies to a pressure cooker, add 1 tablespoon of salt and pour 1 and half cup of water and pressure cook it for 3 to 4 whistles on a medium flame. Our veggies are cooked nicely. Now mash them well with the help of a masher or a big spoon. Now I have chopped 2 medium size of onion and half cup of capsicum. Now heat 2 tablespoons of olive oil and 2 tablespoons of butter in a pan. Now add 1 teaspoon of cumin seeds and half teaspoon of asafoetida. Saute it for 1 minute and now add chopped onions and saute them till they turn translucent. Now add one and half teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and green chilies. Saute them well. I'm adding half cup of chopped bell peppers and some salt and we'll cook it for two to three minutes. And now we'll add dry spices. I'm adding one teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of coriander powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder and two tablespoon of pav bhaji masala. I'm also adding some water and now I'll cover it and cook it for 10 minutes. Our masala is ready. Now we'll add mashed vegetables and half cup of warm water to bring it to a consistency. And now I'm adding salt to taste. At this point, I'm also adding one teaspoon of mango powder and one teaspoon of sugar just to balance the taste. And for additional flavor, I am adding 1 teaspoon of kasuri methi and 1 teaspoon of butter just to give it a creamy texture. Now cook it for another 10 minutes and our bhaji is ready to eat. Just garnish it with fresh coriander leaves and some butter. I am using bun instead of pao. Now to toast the pao, slit the pao horizontally. On a low flame, heat 1 tablespoon of butter on a tawa. Place the pao on the butter and toast for 1 to 2 minutes until slightly crisp. So our yummy pav bhaji is ready to eat. Just serve it with lemon wedges and chopped onions and butter topped. So go and try this yummy and healthy recipe and let me know in the comment box that how was it. So see you on next vlog. Till the time, bye bye and take care.